Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. But this man has even bigger dreams. Yes, he is on a quest to see and experience more from around the world. In Paris. In Beijing. in Hong Kong and other exotic locales. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring and how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, the other day I had a dish I had never tasted before. The dish incorporated delicate Japanese-style blade work, the finest Italian olive oil, and French-style presentation. So I just had to meet the chef. To my surprise, he was one of the chefs whom Asako Kishi praises. We are seeing many chefs trying to go beyond the borders of different cuisine using foreign techniques and uh, ingredients. In that sense, Chef Ito is a man who has received professional training in French, Italian, and Japanese cuisine at top restaurants, so his dishes can never go wrong. Today's challenger, the fusion scientist of cooking, owner and chef of Arle Queen, Junichi Ito. Ito's career is very unique. At age 18, he started in French cuisine. Later, at 28, he left for France to further hone his skills. So far, nothing unusual, but Three years later, he went to Italy and joined Enote Capinchiori, where our Iron Chef Italian was also trained. And at 32, he suddenly turned to a top Japanese restaurant to learn Japanese techniques as well. He opened his own restaurant at 35, combining top French, Italian, and Japanese skills and sensibilities. My intention was, well, I wanted to combine the Italian approach, allowing the ingredients to speak for themselves, and the simple yet very sophisticated techniques of Japanese cooking to give depth to my own original French dishes. His French dishes are fine creations of applied theory. He goes beyond borders to fuse all his acquired skills within them. So now, Ito, with your combined fusion of French, Italian, and Japanese techniques, take us beyond all borders. I'll show you dishes you've never seen before, and I'll win.
フレンチイタリアンそして和食とそれぞれの技を多彩に使いこなす天才シェフがやってまいりましたあの岸麻子も太鼓判を押す料理界の科学者さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えくださいエビスエルルガンオーナーシェフ伊藤純一エントリーンキッチンスタディアムレッドバイアロンアサコキシチャレンジャージュニチイトウォーカルサイエンティストオブクイズインズ He's had formal training in French, Italian, and Japanese cooking skills at top restaurants around the world. What culinary experiments does the scientist have in store for us today? Well, he has all the basics down in French, Italian, and of course Japanese. I expect that、uh, today he will create some unique and fine cuisine. Yes, that's a promise. Thank you. The culinary leaders of Japan, the three iron chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto, creators of new recipes right here in Kitchen Stadium. I'm interested in Chinese cuisine skills. Chen Kenichi! No, not French, not Japanese. Against a cuisine he's never been trained in. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi is the target. What gives? Chen's the Sejuan specialist, the son of the sage of Sejuan cooking. His talents and skills have gained him fame and riches, yet the challenger wants him. Ito must feel he's got the arsenal to drop the Iron Chef Chinese. So, the theme is Yogurt. Oh wow, today's theme ingredient, yogurt, one of the more unusual themes we've ever had. You catch Chan's reaction when it was revealed? The challengers mastered French, Italian, and Japanese skills, but not Chinese. He'll leave that to the Iron Chef, who still seems perplexed by what's about to transpire here. All right, opening gong sounds, the yogurt battle underway, an everyday item, but that factor also makes it so difficult, especially for Chinese cuisine. Just how's the Iron Chef going to incorporate yogurt into his dishes? We've got a very interesting 60 minutes ahead of us. Ito catching a huge break after picking Chen with yogurt being unveiled. The challenger and the Iron Chef now both up at the ingredient stand, scooping the yogurt from a massive container there. Ito returning to his side of the kitchen with the half bowl full of yogurt while the Iron Chef still scooping. And Kaga's gleefully enjoying himself up there. All right, now the Iron Chef getting back with a couple of bowls full of yogurt. Well, I think yogurt is a tough theme no matter how you look at it. Right. For eating it as is or using it as a dip of some sort, now that's easy. Okay. But、right. using it in cooking, now that's going to be the tough part. No doubt about that, Doc. I mean, that look Chen gave with his eyes rolled back when Kag announced the theme, that was priceless. <laughs> All right, the challenger is already up to something, but I haven't a clue yet. Yeah, what's underneath that?、Uh, ice, perhaps.、Hmm. Oh, ice. Yeah,、okay. I think he's cooling it. That would be the reason for that. Okay, now Chen Kenichi, a real challenge today. Okay, I know bean curd is used in Chinese cuisine, but what's. No idea、Fukuzan? how to deal with this. Yes, Ota. What the Iron Chef has in this pot right now is not bean curd, it's actually milk. Oh, okay, okay milk. Okay, milk.、Yeah. Milk right there. We'll see how he uses it for his yogurt creations. And now it's time to introduce our guests today for this yogurt battle. First, actress Yoko Akino, thanks for coming in. Hi, nice to be here. You seem pretty perky, very up today, matching the theme ingredient. Uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> well,、uh, maybe you're fired up about your new book, right? Just came out, the cookbook? 
Yes, that's right, on cooking. Oh, yeah, okay. it's on dieting quickly, eating healthy, you know, based on my own experience. Okay, yeah. well then you can provide us with some good tips today. I'll do my best. Okay, <laughs> and we also have first time guest, actor Teruhiko Aoi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Always thought I'm told that uh, you're quite a gourmet. Is that true? Well, I love eating. Okay, now uh, tell us, what comes to mind for you when you think of yogurt? First of all, dessert, in the standard way, combined with different types of fruit. But you know, in India, northern India, along the border with Pakistan, they use yogurt in their curry sauce. I remember clearly that the curry sauce was very mild, and it was incredibly delicious. All right, well, it's, well, it sounds like you too have some expertise to offer. Thanks for coming in. And of course, for more expertise with us as always, Dr. Hattori. Doc? Well, always a pleasure, thank you. Okay, now in case you joined us late, today's theme, yogurt. Hattori, it's uh, widely produced and enjoyed all over the world, right? Yeah, well, yogurt is found in many countries, and here he has splashed some paprika on the chicken. Okay. Kuzan? Yes. We're watching the challenger sauteing some meat here with paprika, but what we all thought was chicken, I am told, is in fact lamb. Oh, okay, not chicken, it's lamb. Huh. All right, sure did look like chicken in there, but it is lamb. In Mongolia, they use a lot of yogurt and lamb also. They should match well. All right, now, challenger Ito, now the Iron Chef. Kuzan? Hunker down. Yes, Ota. In this pot, the Iron Chef has a mix of milk, fresh cream, yogurt, sugar, vinegar, lemon juice, content jelly, and cornstarch and water. Content jelly and vinegar, too. Oh, yes, the that's eggs right. are going okay. in now, too. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. eggs, right. Okay, and Aoi-san, did you see anything like this in India? <laughs> I bet not. <laughs> not that I know of. All right, now Ito's putting yogurt on top of uh, this one. On the, on the lamb, right? yeah, yeah. This is what he was frying on the stove with paprika. He's uh, lightly sautéed them, I now think. Now the onion's going in. Wow. Okay, now it looks like he'll be grilling it further, maybe in aluminum foil. This is yeah. starting to look good already. <laughs> yes, it is. Kuisan? Yes. I asked Chef Ito what he thought about today's theme ingredient, yogurt, and he said yes. it's a very interesting ingredient. He says, I'm trying to look on the positive side, and as for the number of dishes, he said, I'm shooting for at least four. All right, and he's working fast already. Wrap that. Okay, into the oven, yep. I think. it'll go into the oven there. Yogurt on top of lamb meat going in. This is kind of Middle Eastern in terms of flavoring. Uh, he's put them in another container now. All right, and now we'll get back to the Iron Chef here. Kuzan? Yes. Believe it or not, to the milk, fresh cream, yogurt, sugar, vinegar, lemon juice, content jelly, cornstarch, and water, wow. and eggs, he has added crab meat. What? Oh, crab? <laughs> yes, crab. crab. And I asked him where this recipe came from, and he said it came out of nowhere. I just created it. It's original, but heaven knows how it'll turn out. All right. <laughs> how about uh, we'll call it crab and egg curd with yogurt? Okay, but it sounds a tad weird to me. Okay, hopefully it'll taste a little better, okay? <laughs> And Chen's already got the rice cooker in action. Can see the steam coming out. But for what? Yogurt on rice? That would be way out from What's left the field. Iron chef Shark doing? fins, huh? Shark fins oh. alone are tasteless. So it could match with the yogurt if he does it right. Okay, All right. I'll buy that. Yes, yeah. okay. And uh, yogurt soaked Kuzan? shark fins, could it be? Go ahead. I just got some comments from Mr. Etsuo Joe, who was the challenger's boss at a restaurant in Ginza, who yes. said Ito was one of the slowest in the kitchen as far as moving around goes, <laughs> but his flavoring techniques are top notch. And that was reconfirmed at the opening of his own restaurant. I think he is one of the best. Okay, supportive words from the challenger's former boss, who's looking on, perched up in the royal box for today's battle. Also up there are the challenger's parents. Shinya and Tamayo Ito must be a proud day for them as their son battles here in Kitchen Stadium. Fukui-san. Go ahead. I also talked to Kishi-san who recommended the challenger for the Kitchen Stadium yes. and she said yogurt is a very difficult ingredient, perhaps mm. perfect for a chef like Ito-san who is known for his theoretical approach to cooking. He'll do okay. All right, well, she brought him in here and she's gonna stick with her man. You know, she's usually on the tasting panel out of sight during the cooking, but she's got a good view today. What about it, Kishi san Maybe you'd like to sit up there all the time. Looks comfortable <laughs> up there. And the young chef she recommended looks pretty comfortable himself. So far, a little past a quarter of the way into the fray here in this yogurt battle. fukui -san? Yes. I asked the Iron Chef whether his hot and spicy bean sauce would match well with yogurt, and he said, why not? As you know, the sourness of the yogurt and the spiciness mm -hmm. of the bean sauce should match up okay. great, just like spices and yogurt are mixed in Indian food. All right, well, Chen's finally warming up to the task at hand, and in his walk, looks like bell peppers, red bell peppers. Yeah, there. I think that's okay. right. I wonder if he's ever combined these things with yogurt. 
yogurt before. Well, I don't think so. So far, I think it's all still in his mind, you know? Oh, right. Yes. Here on the Iron Chef side, in this pot, are scallions, ginger, shangtang soup stock, fai tang soup, hot and spicy bean sauce, and shark fin. All right, here, a close-up. It'll be a hot and spicy soup. Yeah, definitely hot and it's spicy. It's a standard Chinese dish, but how will yogurt work with mm, it? Yeah. Fukui-san? Yes. I asked the Iron Chef that very question, and he okay. said they will match perfectly. Then he said, wait a minute, who said that? Did I just say that? <laughs> uh, it's definitely, maybe, uh, I have no idea. Okay, <laughs> somewhat of a work in progress for Chen for the duration here. The challenger side now, he's got some eggplant right there. A multi-cuisine specialist, Challenger Ito, eggplant at the ready and some kind of broth right there. Maybe a bonito broth that he appears to be straining. That's what it looks like, yeah. Now he's turned into a Japanese bonito chef. Bonito and yogurt? How on earth? Fukuizan? Yes. The information that I've been given is that this is a bonito and seaweed broth. Okay, got it. Dried bonito and seaweed. Pure huh. Japanese. And he's adding eggplants? Yeah. Okay, and... His Japanese cuisine skills honed during his apprenticeship at a top restaurant in Western Japan when he was 32. Fukuzan? Yes. I asked the challenger what kind of tactics that he was using for the yogurt battle today, and he said temperature is the key. At 60 to 70 degrees, the sourness will start to change, and the texture and taste can change at 140 to 200 degrees. Wow. He says it's a very delicate ingredient, and I think he knows what he's talking about. A lot more wow. to yogurt wow. than just sticking a spoon in a carton. And his, <laughs> his knife here, is it French? No, this is Japanese. Oh, okay. Purely Japanese. All right. And what's behind this style of cut? Here. Well, this is a technique that lets the flavor seep into the ingredient during cooking. Okay, well, that makes sense. And now the Iron Chef with the bell peppers. Fukuizan? Yes. These red bell peppers that the Iron Chef is uh, pureeing in the food yes. processor have been stewed in soup. You said stewed? They're soup stewed bell peppers. All right, now getting the treatment in the food processor. Fukuizan? Yes. Why was the French cuisine challenger using a Japanese knife just a minute ago? Right. He said it's the best knife for making those small cuts on the surface for letting the flavor seep in. And as long as the results are good, I don't discriminate between culinary techniques. All right, he can mix and match <laughs> techniques from his French, Italian, and Japanese cuisine skills for sure, challenger Ito. And Fukuizan? Go ahead. Just like that, he's changed hats again, and he's now frying eggplant and bell peppers using olive oil. All right, now he's gone Italian on us, and... Uh, no one here would nix that, I think. Okay, I think he's going to be pouring plain yogurt together with something else into these. All right, and take a look. Some nice-looking green beans there, and now the Iron Chef. Whoa, Fukuizan? what is this? Yes, Ota. We just saw the Iron Chef pureeing the red bell peppers to the food processor. Well, now he's adding flour to that. Hmm. Uh -huh. Wow. Flour? Okay. What do you think? Well, maybe something like gyoza. Or possibly a pasta item. Mm -hmm. Lifting a page yeah. maybe from Iron Chef Italian Kobe's so book. That could, could be. It Fukuizan? Be. Yes, Ota. In this pot, the challenger has rice, which was first sautéed in rice germ oil from unrinsed Japanese sasanishiki rice. He also has onions, bell peppers, and zucchini all mixed together in this. Okay, well, it's a risotto for sure. Okay, and he used sasanishiki rice, a short grain Japanese rice, so we got a cross between Japanese and Italian <laughs> cuisines. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, look, he's using the bonita broth yes, now. Yes, right there oh, it goes isn't in. Isn't that chicken consomme? Oh, no, 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 it's bonito broth, you're right, sorry. Right? Right? Yes, he had that before. Fukizan? Yes. This is, in fact, bonito broth. Okay, we are clear on that. Okay, and the Iron Chef is slicing something here. Uh, noodles. Yes, noodles. Perhaps hmm. he's going to dip them in yogurt, maybe. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a sec. Now, he's boiled the red peppers. He put them in the blender, took mm -hmm. them out, mixed them into the flour. Right, yeah. right. And now he's stretching it to make noodles. <laughs> yeah. Now, you see how he's boiling the noodles? Right, that's what he's doing. It's to be eaten with a sauce. Or yogurt dip. flavored? No, no way. No. no. Well, no, how no. else could he use yogurt? I'm not going to eat that. Just no way. <laughs> Give me a break, Chen San. All right. Enough. We have reached the halfway point. 30 minutes to go. The only dish that we know so far how the yogurt's being used is this one by the challenger right here. It just came out of the oven. Yogurt this with is the simple. Lamb. It should match well. Right. Yeah, it should match. Now Ito's going to take a look. Onions there, Ooh. too. Yes. Oh, okay, now yogurt mm. does have the effect of making meat tender. It's mm. very good, actually. That looks good. I could go for that. The onions look great, too, and I'm sure he'll probably do a little more with this one. I right? think he needs to add more yogurt to it, actually. You do? Okay, now, Iron Chef's side, there's the rice, yogurt, and rice combined? I don't think so, no. <laughs> no, no, please don't. Oh, boy, that looks great. Oh, Doc, stop. How about wrapped oh. with seaweed? <laughs> no, you guys. <laughs> Ugh, stop. And they just added some cheese to it. Yeah, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese being mixed into the rice, that's a one-of-a-kind. 
And now world rhythms. Ito double barreled chopping action here. The lamb meat, which came the out lamb a minute meat. ago. Ooh. Yeah. I have to believe he'll add some more flavoring to the lamb from this point on. So yes, you were right about that, Doc. He will have to do a little more with it. Hey, the Iron Chef noodles look like they're done. Yeah, the noodles are wow, wow like carrots. What a color from that earlier paste. Yeah, it's the color of the red bell peppers coming through. So pepper noodles? Hmm, like uh, bell pepper noodles, you should say. All right, huh? Akino san, that's what we'll call it. Now, how's he going to combine this with the yogurt? Looks Italian, doesn't it? Mm, yes, yes. So this is pasta, right? And he also used Parmesan cheese. Yeah, today yes. the Iron Chef is trying to be global in his approaches, too, it seems. But you know, Kishi-san has uh, picked up on that, and she's got an interesting take. She told me that she's watched the Iron Chefs extend themselves and go beyond the boundaries of their cuisines. But she says that alone doesn't cut it. Wow, that's some harsh words. Yes, and uh, that's why she recommended this particular chef to come in today as sort of a warning to the Iron Chefs to sort of shape up. I guess she wants to show this challenger who correctly mixes the techniques of the three cuisines to the right, Iron Chefs right. and show how they should do it, I guess, if they want to, if they want to continue on that kind of approach. That is yeah. correct. And now here's the challenger with the lamb. Okay, and this is the lamb he was pounding just a it's minute ago. It's yogurt. It's mixed into this. Yeah, right yogurt, there on yeah. top, and, and then more uh, meat. Going to put them in the oven, maybe? Could like be. Pies? See, I told you. Hold it. You didn't call that one. <laughs> okay, and over on the Iron Chef's side, he's got bean sprouts, cucumbers, and chicken with the noodles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Looks right. like ordinary old cold Chinese noodles. <laughs> Basic every day. Oh, wait a minute. Why are we laughing? These are plain old ordinary Chinese yes, noodles. Yes, it is a bit sour. Fukuizan? Yes. I asked Iron Chef Kenichi whether these were actually cold Chinese noodles right. or not, and he said, look at them. What else would they be? Whoa. Okay, he's doing it. <laughs> yogurt with sesame. 20 minutes to go. Okay, and the challenger here, adding yogurt to sesame. Oh, oh boy. Sesame does come from Africa, well, and sesame is yeah. also widely used around the world. Okay. Fukuizan? Yes. I talked to Chef Ito about his combining yogurt with sesame, yes. and he said that in Turkey they have a dish that combines yogurt with nuts, and mm. he is simply replacing the nuts with the sesame. Hmm. Okay, so Ito's dipping into several cuisines for his dishes. Little taste test there. Ota, how about a word with Kishi? How does she think her chef's doing so far? Can you check that out? Okay, I'm here with uh, Kishi-san, and what's your impression of the battle so far? Well, Chen-san is trying to do some new things. As for Ito-san, I was wondering how he'll handle yogurt in his French dishes. Uh-huh. I think he is doing well, implementing some interesting techniques. But I'm a little worried whether he will make it on time. Uh -huh, yeah. and that could be a little trouble, I see. Well, back to you. All right, Kishi seems fairly confident that the challenger she marched into the stadium is holding his own so far. And right here... Oh, look at the Iron Chef. Okay, this is the one with crab meat in... It looks like a yeah. cream croquette to me. Cream <laughs> croquette with crab meat. Yogurt flavor? Huh, <laughs> any way you put it, you won't find this in any gastronomic encyclopedia. <laughs> you know, Aoi-san, I'm starting to think I'm lucky today because yeah. you can't taste anything like this anywhere. You can't ask yes. a chef to do this at a restaurant. But I won't order anything like this. <laughs> Boy, tough room. You wouldn't find it on the menu. All right. on? Yes. Did you see the green sauce that the challenger has? Yes. It's a blend of basil, yogurt, butter, salt and pepper, and a dash of olive oil. Basil, that's what the green stuff was. All right, the Iron Chef now. Fukuizan? Yes, go ahead, Ota. I just asked the Iron Chef how the fried dish with the crab meat turned out. Okay. And he looked at me and said, I don't know. How should I know? I've never made this before in my life. <laughs> well, looks pretty darn hey, good to me. They look okay from here. I won't reject them. Yeah, yeah, it looks edible. <laughs> All right, and remember, Chen had some rice with the cheese mixed in. Where's this? Is it? It's done. It's finished now. This one? Yeah, it was grilled, I think. Okay, now see, he's pouring it on top here. Whoa, this is yogurt and Boy, it something else with looks it. Looks almost like a gratin with rice at the bottom, doesn't it? Oh yes, maybe. It looks just like that. Yes. I have the list of what the Iron Chef has in this dish: is rice, Parmesan cheese, eggs, yogurt, and salt. That's it. <laughs> That's, That's it. That was simple enough. <laughs> All right, flavored with egg, yogurt, and salt. How does that sound to you, Akino-san? Mm. Huh? You okay? <laughs> and this is to be steamed? I thought so. With the rice at the bottom of the bowl, the effect here would... Okay, well, it'll be what? heated again like rice and egg curd or, or pudding. Okay. Ten minutes to go. Okay, now this is egg curd. With rice? And the challenger's pies, look. 
They're done oh. coming out of the oven. Yes. Chef Ito's former boss in the Royal Box says he's going to win this if this pie that he made turns out to be a success. Then he yelled, keep up the good work, All Ito. All right. Joe's a great chef himself. He says Ito wins this thing if the pies turn out okay. And I guess he'd be pouring a little yogurt on top of that to finish yeah, I up. I think so, yeah. All right. The yogurt's already inside. That's right, already in oh, there. Okay, I know that right, the flavor right. of the lamb is kept inside, but the question is how effective the yogurt is to the dish. Well, usually for a pie like this, chefs put sauce around it on the plate. I wonder if he's gonna do something like that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is it. This All is right, it. here we go with the basil. Okay. Basil and yogurt sauce. That looks great. Nice oh, color. Yes, what a combination for the sauce. Basil and yogurt. And inside the pie, lamb meat flavored with yogurt as well. I've never had it, but I like it already. Okay, that looks good. Now, Challenger Ito, adding some black pepper to that. Yeah, it's the crushed peppercorns. Okay. Mm, I have to say this looks very Fukuzan? good. Definitely go. The Iron Chef is now working on his shark fin dish. He says that this is a dish that uses yogurt but can be enjoyed by people who don't like yogurt too. Doesn't everybody like yogurt? Well, hey, there's no yogurt in that yet though. No, not yet. You know, I bet he's gonna pour a load of yogurt on this later. All right, That's this it. one here. Even people who don't like yogurt. Hmm, maybe Chen's referring to himself today. Some <laughs> folks would say it's a real reach, shark fin and yogurt. Whoa, Ooh. Iron <laughs> Chef Chen, can you do that again? <laughs> hey, he called for the yogurt. He's gonna add yogurt to this one, and the yogurt is on its way okay, in there. He's yes. drawing something on this. Hmm, I wonder how this one's going to taste with yogurt in it. You know, that's just not enough in my opinion, huh? though. Not enough, Doc? You want more? Yeah. All right, well, at least it's got enough to clear the theme ingredient requirement for the dish. Yogurt in shark fin soup, Chinese cuisine and yogurt. This will be a first for most everybody here today. <laughs> he's rolling the dice on this one, I'd say. But uh, it's there it is. I think this is a good combination. You think so? Yes. The yogurt will add subtle flavor to the already heavy flavor. Hmm. You know, that's not far from the theory. Shark fin dishes are usually with a vinegar of some sort as a rule of thumb. So. No. Fukusan? All right. Yes, Ota. The challenger is just putting the finishing touches on a dish using white sauce made from hmm. white sesame and extra virgin olive oil. Well, check that out. It looks like a Japanese dish. Of course, caviar there. Now it's not Japanese no, anymore. You're right. It does look like a Japanese But in terms dish. of appearance, presentation, it could pass for Japanese. And now swinging back to the Iron Chef side, that looks good up okay, close. Okay, now this has been steamed. On top, mushrooms and uh, something oh, else. Three steamed. minutes left now. Okay, he's added sweet and sour sauce on this. Right here, yes. I asked Chen whether Namiko mushrooms and yogurt match well, and he said, I think so, probably. Okay. That's why I'm doing it. Why are you questioning everything I do? Go away, he said. <laughs> okay, well, at any rate, Oda, you stay right on top of him, okay? <laughs> and today, all of Chen's sentences have started with, I think <laughs> Iron Chef's a little lost but, hey, today. He's never made anything like these dishes before. He's you sort know? of been trying to find his way in the dark, but he is the Iron Chef. He stayed up, beat, and he'll be okay, I think. <laughs> All right, now the challenger's risotto using a Japanese flavored broth it appears to be finished there. Okay, now he's going to pour yogurt on this, I think. All right, the last touch, maybe just before serving. Looks tasty yeah. as is, though, I'd what? say. What? What's that? W what do we have One here? One minute to go. 60 seconds left. Go, Ota. If you're talking about the container that the challenger has on his side right now, yes. it contains yogurt, cream cheese, egg yolks, and Parmesan cheese. Hmm, cream cheese as well. Oh. Okay. Ah. So I'd have to say right here, rather Italian in flavor. Wouldn't you say, Doc? Yeah, that's what it seems okay. to be, isn't it? And for Cuisan? Yes. One quick final note. I also heard that he would be adding this sauce just before serving okay. because if he did it now, the yogurt would separate from the other ingredients seconds. back to you. All right, less than 30 seconds, a theory behind everything he does. Yeah, we're calling him the scientist today, remember? That's right. <laughs> it appears that all of his culinary experiments have come off without a hitch. Kind of an offbeat battle today with yogurt. Fought between a unique chef trained in French, Italian, Japanese cooking and the Iron Chef Chinese nearing the end now. Ten seconds, Ten seconds. both men look like they're done. Chen having thanked his assistants. Ito satisfied Five with seconds. his effort, the last finishing touches Three, and it's up to the judges two, to decide on one. some far out creative dishes. That's it, the cooking's done, the yogurt battle is over. You seem to be having a great time in there. Yes, that's right. I was having a lot of fun. A lot of fun in the kitchen, yes. That's great. Uh -huh. And along with the fun, your dishes turned out well? Yeah, I think I spent enough time on each of them, so they're okay, yes. So does that uh -huh. mean that you think you've got this one in the bag? Of course. So how'd they turn out? Huh? Your dishes. Oh, uh, 
Be interesting dishes, I'd say. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean you don't even know their potential, whether they're good or just so-so? Oh, I'm totally lost. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know, really. Honestly, hey. <laughs> okay. But uh, I see the potential of the ingredient. Uh, it, it was fun, I'll, I'll say that much. Challenger Ito has four dishes. First, hors d'oeuvre with yogurt sauce. Yogurt instead of tofu in a vegetable hors d'oeuvre with a Japanese touch. Caviar adds saltiness. Second is creamy risotto. He used consomme and Japanese bonito broth, mixing them together. The yogurt sauce with egg yolk and cheese in it adds a mild finishing flavor to this dish. Lamb pie, yogurt flavor. The chopped lamb meat is a perfect match for the pie crust and the light sourness of the yogurt and basil sauce heightens the taster's appetite. Last, he has a yogurt sangria dessert, a Spanish-style dessert rearranged by Ito incorporating yogurt. The Iron Chef has six dishes. First, yogurt cocktail, served in a hollowed out passion fruit. Tasters will experience a harmony between sourness and sweetness. Second, crab foo young, yogurt flavor. The red vinegar sauce is just right for the crab meat foo young, containing yogurt inside. Third, hot and spicy shark fin stew. For this dish, the Iron Chef utilized a Mongolian cooking technique, using yogurt to control the spiciness. Yogurt and egg custard. In it, fried rice sprinkled with cheese. The smooth texture of the mushrooms makes for a delightful experience. Fifth is red pepper noodles, a cold bowl of red noodles flavored with yogurt accentuated by cucumbers and cooked jellyfish. The yogurt in the sauce adds body and depth to the spicy flavor. Last yogurt meringue dessert, texture like whipped cream, light and fluffy, the prune boiled in oolong tea ties this splendid dessert together. For today's challenger, cooking's not just an art, it's also a science. Junichi Ito, armed with skills in French, Italian, and Japanese cooking. A cuisine he's not schooled in is the one he chooses to battle in the person of Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Chairman Kaga, in unveiling the theme ingredient, has a shock in store for everyone. It's yogurt. The challenger, measured, in control, conducts four experiments for his dishes. Unfamiliar terrain, nevertheless, the Iron Chef comes up with six. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are Lower House member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Yoko Akino, actor Teruhiko Aoi, and singer Yoshiko Ishii. First, the dishes of Challenger Ito. Yogurt is a fermented product, so the natural sourness is the key. I try to accentuate it in some dishes while suppressing it in others. I didn't think the yogurt would match this well with the okra and the other Japanese vegetables. Well, this is very good. I've never had yogurt used like this. This is surprising. The second dish, creamy risotto served with the yogurt sauce containing egg yolk and cheese, is served to the panel. How will it react? It has a very complex flavor, but I have to say it's a bit too salty for me. Yes, it is complex. And as I was eating it, I couldn't figure out whether I like this flavor or not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Right? Yes, yeah, that's right. You You're know? right. I can't figure out if I liked it or not. <laughs> the broth, which is made from prawns and clams, is very good. I really love it. This is a meat pie. It is, as you can see, the most typical French dish I prepared today. Basil goes very well with the yogurt. I'm amazed. The yogurt inside and the stronger yogurt outside blend together to accentuate the flavor. And the pie itself, of course, is delicious. And the ingredients inside are perfect. This is a very good dish. I think he did the absolutely right thing, which was to mince the lamb meat. That made this dish so delicious. Very nice. I like the taste of lamb a lot. Here, the flavor is encapsulated in the pie, and it matches very well with the yogurt. I really like it. 
I was impressed with the various techniques he's acquired. Everything he made came out well, I think. And now Iron Chef Chen's dishes are served. Oh boy. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> you don't usually use yogurt. No, I don't, to be honest. It was a good experience, though. I'd like to take this opportunity to express my deep gratitude to the producer for giving me this wonderful opportunity today. <laughs> and we, the panel, feel honored to be here. <laughs> it's best when it is still warm. And make sure to stir it well. The inside is very soft. <laughs> Chen-san, I only taste the onions and bell peppers. <laughs> That's the intention. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the yogurt is intended to disappear quickly in your mouth. Oh, disappear. Mm. <laughs> but I can taste the yogurt. This is very delicate. Uh, this was almost too sour for me when I first tried it. But as I ate more, I found out that the crab fuyung is very delicately flavored. But I must say that the sauce around it is a bit too strong. But if you control the amount, it is good. And now the hot and spicy shark fin stew, what everyone's waiting for. In Hong Kong, they use vinegar in this dish to neutralize the hot and spiciness. So I thought you could do that with yogurt, too. This is very delicious. Without the yogurt, perhaps this would be too hot to eat. This is very hot. It's really hot. The flavor is quite strong yes, and right. thick, but the yogurt makes it a lot milder. I would want rice or rice wine with this. This alone would be too heavy. Use your spoon to stir it up. It's sour and mysterious. You know, it's sour. You, you think you can't eat sour rice, but well, somehow I wasn't bothered by that. The mushrooms also add to the sourness. I feel like I'm eating sour rice. Really? I probably wouldn't order this dish, I'm sorry to say. Uh, I'll never make this again. But the mushrooms are simply splendid, and the pepper matches very well with this dish. This is definitely not a failure. <laughs> well, I put some yogurt in the sauce. These are like noodles served at a very good restaurant in my neighborhood. <laughs> the sauce here on top is extremely good. That's a Sichuan sauce used often for chicken salad. Ah. And you used yogurt in it? Yes, I did. I didn't think so. I was expecting something spicier. It doesn't seem so hot, but it gets you later. You think so? So the yogurt was covering the spiciness, I think, in a way. I had a very good time today. It was a memorable experience. Is it always like this? Everybody eating silently and saying nothing? <laughs> I've never had a theme like this. Yes? Yes, this has been, among all the ones we've had, quite interesting. The Iron Chef had some sour tasting dishes. Will he be soured by the verdict? Today's panel enjoyed French, Italian, Japanese, and Chinese approaches. For sure, Challenger Ito, the scientist, demonstrated his theory of combining techniques of different cooking styles. But victory here isn't based on theory, it's grounded in taste. And the Iron Chef on that score, did he deliver? Which man takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef, Chen! Caught by surprise, yes, you! He can't believe it, he won this yogurt battle. Somehow he navigated his way through this yogurt journey, almost a minefield for him, and comes away with the victory when he thought he was stumbling in the dark. He wins and he still can't believe it. All right, let's check the scoring. Kurimoto, 17-16 Iron Chef. Akino, 17-16 Iron Chef. Aoi, 18-16 Iron Chef. Ishii, 18-17 Iron Chef. All close, but incredibly enough, a sweep by the Iron Chef. This was no picnic today for Chen, but his bold and adventurous approach resulted in the taste that defeated Ito. 
Another indicator of why Chen is the Iron Chef. I also tried some of Chef Ito's dishes. The taste was very good, but he needed to use more yogurt, I guess, to win. He only used it as a sauce. He should have been bolder and maybe made a soup from yogurt. I am a little disappointed, but he did very, very well, I think.